Oui, soy Runbao Pendo. I ti vomoi lehidich maskina belož bobao. I mi ba šasnu lo šmavarbai. Gi he šmalu šasnu lo fasnu sumti. In the first video, I mentioned a system for adding arguments to relations with an example. I am a cat sent by the authorities in order to arrest you for crimes against the internet. Now, it sure would be convenient if Mlatu had a position structure for this. Mlatu, X1 is a cat of breed X2, sent by X3 to do X4 because of X5. Alas, we don't have that, nor would we want that. Instead, we use modal tags. Modal in Lojban just means a place that isn't in the place structure and has nothing to do with the linguistic jargon word modal. A modal tag is a shmavo that not only indicates that the next sumti belongs with that modal tag, but also conveys exactly what kind of place is being added. Modal tags are a subset of the more general sumchita, which is any shmavo that can tag the next sumti with extra information. Modal tags are derived from certain gismu. For example, kihu is derived from krinu. Then, the sumti following the modal tag is the thing that would fill the x1 position in that relation. The grammatical class, or selmaho, for modal tags is bai. There are several lists of shmavo in selmaho bai in the latest version of the language reference link down below, and also in the previous version, section 9.17 has a nice table. Before I continue, I need to talk about events. An event is just a bridi with the shmavo nu prefix to it, terminated, if necessary, by the shmavo k, and that turns it into a selbri, meaning x1 is the event where the bridi happens. Let's take a look at the gismu krinu. The event x1 is a justification for causing event x2. So I might want to say, lomlatu shukrinu la internet. Cats are the justification for the internet. But that doesn't make sense because krinu requires events, and neither cats nor the internet are events. To construct an event, we first need a breedy. We could just use mlatu. There are cats. Then we stick nu in front of it, Numlatu, x1 is the event where there are cats. And now we can put the whole thing together. Lo numlatu k krinu lo nula internet. Cats are the justification for the internet. And it's true. Link down below. Okay, back to kihu and krinu. Again, the sumpti following a modal tag is the thing that would fill the x1 position in that relation. In the case of kihu, we see that lonum latu k krinu means that there are cats is justification. So kihu lonum latu k would be a modal, meaning with justification that there are cats. Used in a full breedy, Mishmila kihu lonum latu. I laugh with justification that there are cats. Or in internet speak, I laugh because cats. In the first video, I briefly mentioned se, which has the effect of swapping x1 and x2 in a relation. So se krinu would be the event x1 is justified by the event x2. And so, Lonumlatu k sekrinu means that there are cats is justified. I mean, you don't really need to give a reason for cats. And so, sekihu lonumlatu would be a modal, meaning with justified result that there are cats. For example, munje sekihu lonumlatu. There is a universe with justified result that there are cats. Put another way, there is a universe, therefore justifiably, there are cats. So let's try to piece together the first part of my silly example. Meme Latu, I am a cat, sent by the authorities. Now, 
I know that there is Behi, which is a modal for Benji, which has to do with sending, but I tried a few things and it just wouldn't work. So instead, I'll use our friend Poi. Mi poimlatu shuse Benji le shatni. I, who is a cat, am sent by the authorities. Remember that lei is for a group, so authorities as a group. Why se Benji? Because Benji means x1 sends x2, but we need to swap x1 and x2, so se Benji, x1 is sent by x2. Now, poi is a restrictive relative phrase indicator used when there are several things around and you want to restrict the thing you're talking about. In this case, there's only one me. Using poi is like saying the me who is a cat. So instead, we can use the non-restrictive relative phrase indicator, noi. Mi noi mlatu shu se benji le shatni. I, a cat, am sent by the authorities. What's next? We need to tack on in order to arrest you. Kihu, justification, is perfect for this. The event we're looking for is I arrest you, which is mi pifigao do. So the event would be nu mi pifigao do. X1 is an event where I arrest you. And the sumti would be lo nu mi pifigao do, an event where I arrest you. And so kihu lo nu mi pifigao do would be with justification that there is an event where I arrest you. In other words, in order that I arrest you. Let's just put that in the future tense with ba, Kihu lo nu mi ba pifigao do, in order that I will arrest you. Now, if I just add that modal to the sentence, we have mi noim latu shu se benji le shatni kihu lo nu mi ba pifigao do. I, a cat, am sent by the authorities in order to arrest you. Now, why am I arresting you? For crimes against the internet. Sounds like we need a justification for arresting you. So we want a modal that is something like justified by the event that you committed crimes against the internet. We can use zergao, x1 commits crimes against culture x2. So do pu zergao la internet. You committed crimes against the internet. And now we just turn this into an event and add it using kihu. Kihu lo nu do pu zergao la internet. With justification that there was an event where you committed crimes against the internet. In other words, for your crimes against the internet. So finally we have mi noim latu shu se benji le shatni kihu lo nu mi pifigao do kihu lo nu do pu zergao la internet. I, a cat, am sent by the authorities in order to arrest you for crimes against the internet. Notice that we used kihu twice, but they translate differently. This is because in colloquial English we can say with justification in many different ways, but they all mean why an action justifiably happened. In fact, kihu is just one of four modal tags for different types of causes. Riha, kihu, muhi, and nihi. For riha, we're talking about mechanistic cause and effect. Kihu is for an effect caused by moral justice. Muhi is for talking about human reasons for things that don't have to do with justice. And nihi is for logical reasoning. All of these can be translated as because in English, but they all have different connotations and different colloquial translations. Se swaps cause and effect for these modal tags. All of these can be translated as therefore, but again, they all have different connotations and colloquial translations. Riha and kihu are very common modal tags. Again, there's a fuller list in the link down below. Uhu, sesrera. Usually when I post a video, I'll watch it all the way through to pick up anything I might have screwed up. Really, I need to start doing that before I post the video. Anyway, last time I picked up a mistake where I said that shi mi shu habju le kumazda, 
three of me live in the apartment, didn't make much sense. Aside from getting the text itself wrong, as with do, me is a prosumpti which doesn't have number attached. So it could mean me or it could be us. So in fact, it makes perfect sense to say that three of us live in the apartment. Ahusai. Back in the first video, I pulled up some definitions for Persian languages. Ban Fuhasu, X1 is the language with ISO 639-3 code FAS, Persian. Ban Puhesu, X1 is the language with ISO 639-3 code PES, Iranian Persian. What I didn't realize at the time is that there is an algorithm for constructing this type of fuhivla for any ISO 639-3 language code. For English, the algorithm yields Bangenugu. X1 is the language with ISO 639-3 code ENG, English. Of course, there are non-algorithmic words for some languages. Glebao, X1 is the English language used by X2 to express X3. Lojban is supposed to be culturally neutral, but alas, some cultures are more equal than others. Nevertheless, I really like the sound of Bangenugu. The algorithm also generates words for countries and currencies, since those also have ISO codes. In the next video, I'll talk about E, which is used to not only separate breedy from each other, as when you put one sentence after another, but also connect them in various ways. Kihero Kinzga.